Metropolitan Hall of Columbus, Ohio. Metropolitan Hall Incorporated, a licensed entity, was founded by myself, Fred Banks, in a large structure that had previously served as the dormitory facility of the Columbus School for Girls. Now, when the Columbus State Hospital was closed to be raised in 1984, as were a number of governmental caregiving institutions, it was in direct response to court-issued edicts of mental illness being recognized or adjudicated only as one being a danger to oneself or others. Although applicants for our services would quickly learn to access us by themselves, it was common knowledge through the culture of referral agencies and organizations that although the broad shoulders of Metropolitan Hall might stagger under the impact of court-ordered deinstitutionalization, a flood of the dismissed was met in part by the exponential expansion of Metropolitan Hall Incorporated. Then, one Sunday afternoon, I received a phone call. It emanated from an ad hoc group of people who had gathered to brainstorm about the possibility of forming a social service organization and possibly facilitating the purchase of the large building in which their present meeting was being conducted. Now, uh, a consensus had brought forth the name of Fred Banks. So they called me and invited me to come and join in their meeting, which I did. The 13 people already gathered there were Al Lynn, Albert Hawkins, Margaret Jenkins, Otto Beatty, Paul McGinnis, Bill Davis, Arthur Ware, James Davis, Elizabeth Henry, Benny Woods, Douglas Harton, Earl Caliber, and Wanda O'Brien. Now, I attended the meeting and, and agreed right then, that day, to buy the building. The building featured three hallways, each one 100 feet in length. That inspired me to name Metropolitan Hall. Well, later on, in turn, I formed the Corporation of Metropolitan Community Services Incorporated, a nonprofit, tax exempt, IRS approved, 501c3 public charity. A pictorial of Metropolitan Community Services, its former location and office and residence, and a plethora of client recipient photographs will later follow. Now, after a muted and extended hiatus, Metropolitan Hall has returned to help serve our community. We look forward to reestablishing communication with and on behalf of all whom feel the desire to contribute to this initiative. The past but well-remembered recipient clientele, co-workers, professional associates, entities of referral, and some of the families and friends and supporters of the many dozens of residents of Metropolitan Hall and its encompasses, whose images will herein be portrayed and documented for posterity, are acknowledged with respect and gratefulness.
I'm not going to let y'all put them kids through what I put y'all through. I'm not going to do that. No 
suit for me.